everybody welcome back to my channel this is Lisa from Potsy Fatter and I'm back today with another DT project for paper basics for you today and this um, week I made something very fun uh, for me it was very funny and or I had um, a lot of fun doing it so this is a stamp from paper basic and it says kannst du behalten which means um, you can keep it which I think is just hilarious so I took um, this strip of tin cardstock from I don't know how to pronounce it Vaisen Creative or something like that and I just re-stamped it and I did stamp it like I did press down too much at the first one and the third and something like that so it, there's black dots which are normally not there and then I took this cute tag from the rock pool collection from um, Kaisercraft and I took a, a bow, uh, that's not a bow, what am I saying? A, um, what's it? Baker's twine, I'm sorry. I took a piece of yellow Baker's twine from Dovecraft and I just made it the tag, a real tag. And then I took those cute little rhinestones and just added three of each side, like one of each three sizes to give it a bit of interest because I am going to make pink. Uh, and that's not paper clips, that's just clips. I don't think I have mentioned that. So I'm making clips today. And I used those 3D scrapbook adhesives and I just popped them on there. And then you have the cutest clip ever. Those are so much fun for, um, I like to use um, gift bags. And I always hate how you can, like, especially kids can peek inside right away. So I like to, to just um, close them down. And that is a great way to do it. And now I'm using the um, Premium Gardenia Paper Flowers in Peach and Chocolate from Paper Basics. They make their own paper flowers. I just have those two left, so that's why I decided to use them. I don't have any of the chocolate left because I made an altered gift box, which you can check out in my Paper Basics um, playlist that I have linked in the info cards if you're interested. And for this paper clip, I decided to um, use the Dovecraft Clear Crafting Glue because I didn't want to pop them up. And that worked perfectly, actually. So I just adhered that flat on there. And I'm using my Distress Stickles in Worn Lipstick to give them a bit of interest and they are so cute. I just love that. I did that on my altered box as well because I really like the um, how it look. I did it again today and it is so, so cute. It just adds a tiny bit of sparkle. I was going through my DIY paper flowers that I made also as a DT project, I think. No, it wasn't last week. It was, no, it was a couple of weeks ago, but you can check that out. And I'm going to use one later. So I just took a circle die from my stash that was roughly the same um, size. It didn't cut perfect because um, it's not it's not coordinating. It just is coincidentally um, almost the same size. And I didn't mind because the um, circle from the stamp it was it wasn't perfect. It was like messy looking, which I love. And so I thought I'd just add it to that look. So actually I just wanted to do like two, maybe three, but I decided to do all of them because they're so cute. And I absolutely love them. I think they're just hilarious as a little, you know, when you go to, like when you invited something in uh, somewhere and you, you, you want to bring something like a small, I don't know, card or, or like, I don't know, chocolate or something. You can just pop that on there and it just looks sort of adorable. Look at how cute that is. It is so easy to make so 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 easy it didn't take um i mean it did take me i don't know maybe 45 minutes to create all of them but some are more um more work and some are less and i did make a lot as you can see so for these i decided to use um uh, those scrapbook 3d adhesives again like those um, foam squares and <clears throat> they really are great and look at how easy you just pop them on the clothespin and you use one of the circles you pop it on and you're done and it was really 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 much fun to do those and 
now I wanted to um, try and use up some scraps and also use those epoxy buttons from <clears throat> I'm sorry from uh, Artemio and they are called flowers or that mix is flowers it's the flowers mix and but they were too I don't know it didn't look good just on the cloth pin so I did take a scrap piece of paper I, from the um, quality papers number I don't know the number I have it linked down below so you can check it out I um, trimmed it down a bit more I rounded the edges with my corner rounder and I used double-sided tape to adhere that cute little bird and that's it I took another piece of paper rounded the corners took some adhesive popped on the epoxy button and look how cute that is and because I used 3d adhesive on the epoxy button <clears throat> I wanted to adhere that one flat like the paper flat on the cloth pin and do I make another one I don't think oh yeah I do what am I using on that one oh yes the green one now I remember exactly so I did adhere that flat again and use the 3d adhesive on the cloth pin again it was so much fun making those real I had such a good time. And I think they're just so they're really not much effort or uh, not much effort, but uh, not much um work, but you know, it's <coughs> I'm sorry. Who I'm a bit I'm a bit sick actually, so I'm sorry if I sound a bit weird. Um, they're so much fun and they are not a lot of work and look at how cute that paper flower looks isn't that adorable so that's one of the paper flowers I made um, like in a in a previous DT project and now you can see some it didn't take the prettiest and I forgot to show my premium gardenia flowers so here they are and that is all of them now I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time thank you so much for watching bye